been wanting to do this video for the longest time ever, but my twin sister moved in with me so I couldn't finish off the spare bedroom. But today, my darlings, the spare bedroom is complete, ready for you guys to see. It feels really strange because I haven't really put on makeup in a very long time. Well, I, I don't really wear much makeup day to day anyway, but this is the first time I have worn my hair down naturally for a very long time. I have gone through the walls with my hair, cutting a long story short, some of you might know already, but I had a really bad experience with tape hair extensions and they completely damaged my natural hair. Honestly, it looked terrible. I'm gonna pop in a photo right now. So since December, I've really been looking after my hair and I have been using products by Hairburst and I wanted to give you guys an update from Christmas. I just want to quickly mention a product that I use every single day and it's also by Hairburst and this is the Tubal Hair Vitamins and just check out this growth. I mean, I got my hair done just before the lockdown, so in December towards the end and just look at that i mean that's pretty good for two months of growth seen as my hair just does not grow so today is a bit of an achievement because um i am so paranoid about my hair i don't really like my hair down naturally just because i it just isn't where i want it to be but i'm going to show you guys because i am pretty happy i mean the health of my hair it's improved drastically. To help with my hair growth and also my hair health, I have been using the brand new Long and Healthy Hair Mask. Now this is coconut and avocado scent and it smells delicious. Honestly, this is probably one of the most nourishing hair masks that I've ever tried. My hair literally just like drinks it up. I mean, it just looks so much more shiny these days and there's some fabulous ingredients inside. It is recommended to use this mask once a week and it's also best to use it in combination with their shampoo. I love this shampoo. I have been using this probably for the last six months and my hair absolutely loves it but the mask in particular is really good if you are super dehydrated you want to add a bit more shine you want to defrizz and it's also good if you have split ends and you just want to prevent the split ends <laughs> from forming because i mean like split ends is the bane of my life right now and this is really helpful the product is super easy to use all you need to do is shampoo your hair and then just um, gently squeeze out any excess water then just pop in the mask and leave on for five to ten minutes sometimes I like to wrap my hair up in a towel and actually leave it in for longer then all you got to do is then rinse it out thoroughly and what I found with this mask it really helps to detangle the hair so I always get like a slight knot on my top right I think it's where I sleep and it just helps to kind of like take it out like it's just a dream to brush over and it doesn't hurt my hair and it doesn't pull on the root and it's just much more healthy it is also vegan cruelty free and there's also uv protection so it's perfect for the up and coming months and it also helps to protect against pollution and it smells blooming good and it's pink inside as well so that's my hair update hopefully next time i talk about my hair I will be wearing it forward and it will be longer and looking much more thicker and healthier. There has been a massive, massive difference over the last few months and I'm super happy. Okay, you guys want to see this room. Let's show you this room. We did have work done in this room last summer, so ages and ages ago. If I do have the footage, I'll pop it in right now. So this is a before shot of the room so joe this morning um, took everything out of here ready for this wall and this wall to be paneled uh, yeah it's going to look so much more different after the bed got moved to one side the desk is temporarily there Ta -da -da -da! and the paneling is now up and joe's prepping the wall to paint Yes, all of the little holes. Oh, filled all the holes out. Is that where they stapled them in? Yeah. And then also we had a shelf there which needed to um, be put in. But it looks really good. I absolutely love this little border thing that they've put on it. Now, this is going to be painted white. 
and we have some samples for the colour up here. Now, I don't think I want to go for grey, but I did get one grey because everyone has grey and I just think, I don't know, I just want to, don't want to be the same as everyone else. So, I think sage green is the way forward. And I did pick up some Felsper green samples, but I think I may like this one because it's like the very much the same colour as the windows. Because we have green windows. One wall completely painted. That took you a long time. Three hours. Yeah, three hours. I think it's because of the little crevices. But we've also got swatches for the top here. I'm I'm liking this colour in particular. So I think we might go for that. It really does match the windows. And I just think it would look fresh and clean in here. Next up, we are finally painting the border. We've decided on that green in the centre. It looks darker in this camera for some reason, but we'll show you when it's done. I've got help. Ready to go. We are kind of painting your room, so you should help. Yes, I guess. <laughs> We've just completed the painting. I think it looks really, really lovely. And we also did behind the door as well, which I think makes the wardrobes pop out a bit. They're kind of like getting lost in this wall at one point. But yeah, love the green. And we also decided to paint the bathroom as well because the paint was so lovely. It's a bit patchy right now because it's still wet. But we're also going to get this done as well. We're going to get hexagon tiles with grey grout. And I have some plants in here. I've got this from Primark. So I think it's going to look lovely in here once it's all done. Here we go, guys. My brand new spare bedroom. I'm just going to pan around the room first so we've got this beautiful beautiful paneling the theme is sage green i'm obsessed with sage green right now and i love all my little plants we do have green windows kind of a bit of an inspiration behind this room but yeah look at it Okay, let's talk you through the room. So the panelling was done by a carpenter, but I think next time we could do this ourselves. Now this was quite pricey. I think it was like 500, 600 pounds to get done. But when we do the living room downstairs, we're gonna do it ourselves. This paint, everyone has been asking me where I got this paint from. Now this is a Farrow and Ball one, and I'll drop a link down below. Everything in this video will be linked down below, but the color I cannot remember, so I'll list it below. However, this is identical to the color that I have in my new office, and I actually got that from Valspar, and apparently it was the mix for the Dulux Sage Green. So I had it custom made because the Dulux one wasn't in there, but it is the Sage Green by Dulux. It's exactly the same. Now the bed. It was impossible, almost impossible, to get sage green cushions, but I found these from Maid. Now for two of them, it was 45 pounds, but they're really fantastic quality. I think the size of it is 60 by 60 centimeters, and you can do that good old karate chop with them. They're really fantastic quality, and they match the paint perfectly. I'm in love. I think it was really good value. Now, the bedding. This is from Danelle. And I also got a new duvet. And it's the Hotel Duck Down, which is super comfortable. I got new cushions and pillows as well. Sorry, that's a pillow. New pillow. Now, this throw here. This is from Made.com. But this is beautiful. It is a slightly darker colour to the cushions but it works so well on the website the cushions were light green and this was their sage green but i thought they both mixed really well together but you can get the cushions in this darker sage green color well i think it's too dark to be sage green but it works nevertheless 
I think the cost of this was around £60. On the bed, I have this little guest basket. So this is from Next. And inside, I got a sage green towel. Now, this is Egyptian cotton from Next. It was actually pretty affordable. I think it was around £12 to £14. Pounds, and that's for a bath towel. And here, I just have a lush bath bomb to keep things smelling lovely and nice to the left okay so i wanted to get rid of this desk but it kind of looks really shabby chic and i decided to keep it for like a little dressing table so on this little dressing table we have this little tray here now these mugs i believe are from wilco the tray is from primark and this is from, I think it's from a store on Etsy. So we have this kind of creamy colour going into a nice sage green. And then I just have a fake eucalyptus from Ikea. And I just think it looks really cute. Now this mirror, Joe and I got years and years ago from his mum. I have no idea where it's from. But um, you can get similar ones from B&M. Oh no my cushion has fallen. Here I have my little guest setup. So we have um, lemon hand sanitizer, we've got a hand wash and then we've got hand and body cream and then just a Yankee candle to the right. Then coming over to the other side of the room, this lamp is from Next and the bed is something that we had before. I was going to get a brand new bed but it kind of works in here and I just thought it was a waste of a bed to throw it out. Now this pampas grass is from Etsy and I think it looks really like cosy in the corner. Now we do have it in the champagne bottle. I think it's a bottle that we had at our engagement party. I can't really remember. I don't really want to throw it out and it's green and it goes with the room. So we're keeping it. This poor plant has seen better days. I have killed it so I need to get a new one. But I really like the pot. I think the pot was from Tesco. This was £11 but it isn't very good. I don't really recommend it um, because there is a split in the spout and water just comes out. But Nevertheless, it does look really pretty on this mantelpiece. Then I got a peace lily. Um, it's doing okay, looking a bit wilted. But any tips on keeping a peace lily, please drop a comment down below because I would love your tips. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this little pot here. It looks very similar to the little jug that I showed you earlier. Now this is also from Etsy, I believe. And then we've got another little plant which is kind of dying. Now the curtains are identical color to the cushions here and these are also from made.com. These were around 80 to 90 pounds, but they look beautiful in this room. So that is the spare room, everyone. I think it looks super cozy. I kind of want to have this as my own bedroom, but yeah, it looks so adorable. Just gonna come around this end. I'd be very happy as a guest in this bedroom, I'm not gonna lie. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Hairburst, link down below, and everything listed in this video can be found in the description as well. But as always guys, just make sure that you link, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!